What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about Zoss recently making a statement talking about their intentions to improve communication and transparency with the player base of the Elder Scrolls Online. Now we know there's different ways that they communicate with the uh, community just in general. We have of course the official Elder Scrolls Online forums. We also have Reddit. People of course talk to the devs and things on Twitter. So there's a lot of different ways that the uh, community can communicate with Zenimax and all the different people that work there. The only thing is I think a lot of people in the community over the years have felt like a lot of things get left kind of just out there and nothing's ever really said or done or or mentioned about it. You know, some people say they'll mention something on the forums and every once in a while you'll see a response from a person, you know, with the development team or, you know, at least one of the the forum, you know, leaders or, or, or people that's over the forums will say, you know, they're going to send this on to the Zoss team and they will get back to them. And I think overall, one of the better things that Zoss could do would be every time somebody has a legitimate, you know, complaint or a legitimate, a legitimate question, because sometimes some of these forums get thousands and thousands of responses. Once somebody posts something, I wish Zoss would always just say, hey, we're looking into it. You know, we know we're, we're going to show this to the team, see what we can do. Something like that, I think, would be really good. Uh, an odd thing to me uh, about the whole situation is, you know, they're talking about wanting more improved communication. But just last week, they decided to go ahead and cancel the ESO class rep program. Now, if you're not sure what the class rep program was, this is a program that Zoss has run for a while. And what this did was it was intended to collect feedback from players for each, uh, you know, kind of each of the classes, which they could be, then be passed on to the developers uh, kind of via the knowledge of the player base for each class. Now, a lot of streamers and YouTubers were part of this program. Uh, Nephis was one of the members of this program. He was a member, I think, for around three years. So what would happen, of course, you know, while he was doing things and, and, and playing and in the test server and the live server, he could report back issues to Zoss with, you know, different classes in, in the game or different just problems in general. Another good thing was some of these people, uh, you know, would ask their, you know, YouTube community, their Twitch community about any problems that they had exper experienced in the game and they would pass on that knowledge as well. And now that Zenimax has canceled the program, they said they're looking to, you know, kind of just shelf it for now, kind of put it on the back burner and either revamp it or come back with a new idea that with the similar kind of same, you know, uh, I, I guess feedback that they get from the class rep program, but do it in a different way. And we eventually will probably see something like that down the road. But at the same time, I find it kind of strange that they, they're talking about wanting to improve communications, but also at the same time, getting rid of one of their primary means of communication right now because like i said kind of at the start of the video I, I know on the forums a lot of times stuff doesn't get answered but i think with this the program they had with the class reps a lot of the issues were getting resolved through the class reps from them passing it on from you know their youtube communities the twitch communities or their own experiences and then of course they would pass that on to zoss and zoss then would you know kind of figure out the problems or, or figure out solutions or fixes or whatever the case may be so I'm kind of curious what they will do in the future. I think better communication with any development team in any game is a, a good thing. So hopefully we can get a better kind of communication line between you know, the developers and the gaming community and the Elder Scrolls Online. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. What would you like to see Zoss do to help kind of better communication as a whole with the Elder Scrolls Online? Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.